Hi, this is Chase again. Today we're going to teach you the ports, keys, buttons, and switches on your Braille Plus. If you start at the very top of your unit and tip it up so these little holes at the top are facing towards the ceiling, on the very left side is a little round hole or a jack where you can plug in an external microphone. You can plug in any microphone you have. It could be a stereo microphone or basically any microphone. If you move to slightly to the right, there's a mini SD card slot. The Icon of Braille Plus can hold um, many SD cards up to 4 gigabytes. I have one right here, and all you have to do is push it right here. And this, is, this kind of reminds me of the battery because it only goes in one way. So you just slide it in right here, and then you just push it down with your fingernail and you'll feel it click. Sometimes, sometimes they can be really easy to get in, sometimes they can be hard. I kind of hold it click and then go a little bit back up and that means my mini SD card is in there. And if you would have your Braille Plus on, it would just say mini SD card added. To the right of that um, slot is a headphone jack. Here you can plug in a line out um, cable. You can plug in a external speaker device or you can plug in headphones. So anything that has external sound you can put in right there. The next slot is a smaller jack than those other ones and you can actually plug in a headset. They have the headset and the microphone and they have a very small end and they're actually used on cell phones a lot of the time. You can plug the um, that type of headset into this jack right there. One thing you'll notice is all the keys, including the telephone keypad, are all rubberized, but the Braille keyboard and the three keys, the control, shift, and space bar, are not rubberized. They, those keys are all plastic. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Braille Plus on now so that um, you can hear what the keys do when you press them. I'll hold the cancel key, which is... If you feel the diamond shaped keypad, it's the third key to the right below the diamond shaped keypad. If you hold this, your Braille Plus will turn on. And you're in the Applications menu. On the very top of your Braille Plus, not on what we just looked at, but on the top of the service where all the keys are, is an earpiece. It's actually a mono earpiece. And you'll recognize it from cell phones. So if you just want to listen to something, you don't want other people to hear what you're doing, you can just hold this up to your ear, just like this, and all your sound will come through this earpiece that's right here. Below that there's three buttons. This key is called Program 1. If you press it, nothing happens, and if you hold it, nothing happens. Program 1 is left on the Braille Plus for some future expansion that I don't know what it is. The key beside that is called the Applications key. Um, if we press it right now, you will hear Applications menu. applications menu, and we were actually already in the Applications menu, so it didn't do anything. No matter what program you're in, you can tap this key and you're back to the list of programs and you can open another program. If you hold the Applications key, it'll bring up the Task Manager, so you can run and stop different programs. The key to the right of that is called Program 2. Um, if you're running version 1.06 of the software, you can press this and you'll hear Network Manager. USB network not connected. 102. You heard that it opens my network manager. If you're using an older version of the software, it will not it'll just not do anything. I'll press cancel to get back to the applications menu. Applications menu. If you hold program two, it will open the wireless part of the network manager and it'll search for wireless networks and if you've been connected to one in the past, it'll automatically connect to it. And if wireless is on, you can hold program two and it'll turn wireless off. Down below program 1 and 2 in the applications key are two key, two small rectangular keys. The one on the left is status. If you press it once, you'll hear the last thing that has been spoken, spoken again. Applications menu. Applications menu. If you press it, if you press it twice, applications menu. it does the same thing. If you hold it, it will bring up status menu, 9.05 a.m., Thursday, January 1st, 1970. It will bring up the status menu, which has several things that you're going to want to be aware of when you're using your Braille Plus. I'll press cancel and get back to the Applications menu. Applications menu. The next key is Help. Help is a very useful key, especially if you're new to the Braille Plus. 
If you press it once, opening help. It says opening help, and it's actually opening the Braille Plus Users Manual. Which has information. The applications menu. I press select to stop that. It has information on all the different things that the Braille Plus can do, and it's specifics to where you're at. So if you're in the applications menu, it'll open the manual to the applications menu. If you're in the email program, the manual will open up to the section of the manual that teaches you how to run the email. To get out of help, you'll need to press cancel. Help closed. Applications and menu. You hear help closed. Applications menu. Another good feature of the Braille Plus is holding down help. Key learn mode off. Hold down help again to turn it off. Key learn mode. In this mode, you can press any key. Select two seven dot one. Launch program space control shift. Such as that, and it'll tell you every key that you push to turn key key learn mode off. As you heard when I entered key learn mode, you can hold down help again. Key learn mode off. Applications menu. Key learn mode off, and we're back in the applications menu. If you're reading a document or a web page or an email message, you can press status and help to spell whatever it said last. A P P L I C A T I O N S space M E N U. And it spells whatever it's spoken. Below status and help is a diamond shaped keypad. The top key moves you up through a menu or a document or wherever you're at. One address book. The key below that is select. If you push select, depending on what you're doing, if you're in a document, it'll read. If you're in a menu, it'll open that program. Or it can change different options if you're in a dialog box. The next button is the down arrow. It's below select, and if you push it, two music player, three library menu. We're going four internet menu. Up, or we're going down the menu. Then the key to the right of select is the right arrow, and if you press the right arrow, it'll open a sub menu, move to the next character in a document, and some other things. One web browser. I was on the internet menu, and I press right arrow, and it opens the internet menu, and there's a web browser. It's the first item. Then to the left to select is the left arrow. You can press that to get back to the previous menu or the previous character in a, in a document. Applications menu one address book. And we're back in the applications menu. Below the diamond shaped keypad and select is OK. On the very left, there's a group of three keys, and OK is on the very left. And if you press it, it, if you're in a menu, it performs the same operation that select does. If you're in a document or an email, it will perform and make a new line, such as the enter key on a keyboard, or it will activate a link if you're on browsing the internet. The key to the right of OK is the menu key. If I press it now, options menu. There are no menu options at this point. One address book. This is options menu. There are no menu options at this point because we're not actually in a program, so there's no options to set because we're only in the main menu. But if I'm in a program, I can press that and I can get options specific to that program. To the right of that is the cancel key. We've actually been using that cancel key. This is the key that you can hold to turn your Braille Plus on and off, press to get out of a program, um, and that's basically all it does. Below OK, Menu, and Cancel is the telephone keypad. This can be useful if you're typing in thumb Braille, if you're texting things in, or if you're dialing up programs. For example, if I wanted to open the music player, I could simply press oh. 2 because that's the number that it's listed in the application menu. And music it opens that updated. program. So I can press cancel to get out of it. Applications menu. So the telephone keypad is a very useful part of your device. If you turn it 90 degrees to the right, you can fill your Braille keypad from left to right, there's dot three, dot two, dot one, dot four, dot five, and dot six. You can type in, in Braille in computer Braille or in grade two Braille. On the opposite side of your unit are three keys. The left key is shift. If you want to capitalize a letter, you can hold that down while you're typing the letter in. The next key is the bigger key of the three, and it is the space bar. So you can just hit this and it'll space, or if you're moving through menus, and that'll allow you to use chords. And the key to the right of that is control. This can be used, such as if you're in a web browser, you can press control O to
to open a new web page. So just things to make using the device easier so you don't have to go through the menus all the time.